This is the Aku Aku Gold Cup from the greatest tiki bar that was ever in Las Vegas. If you order this in a bar, the question is, would you order this again? Let's find out if I would. But before that, here's how you make the cocktail. Grab your freshest lemon, cut that thing in half, squeeze three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice into a measuring device. And before you pour that into the mixing tin, let's get some super fine sugar. Measure one teaspoon and level it off at the back of a knife, and then go ahead and add that into the shaker tin. On top of that, you're gonna combine the lemon juice and stir that up until the sugar is totally dissolved. Go ahead and taste some of that sugar off the back of the knife because it's delicious, don't cut your finger. And then, Falernum. One of my absolute favorite ingredients in tiki. You're gonna measure out one half ounce. I'm using John D. Taylor's Velvet Falernum here. You can use whatever Falernum you like, combine it with the rest of the ingredients. And now we're into the rums. Go ahead and smell your favorite dark Jamaican rum. I'm gonna be using Karuba here, but you could certainly use Appleton 12. You could use Myers, Hamilton Pot Still Black. You could use Plantation Original Dark. So measure one half an ounce of that and pour it on into the shaking tin. And then let's unscrew a light Puerto Rican rum. And we are using one ounce of Don Q Cristal here. If you don't have that, a good substitute is Castillo Silver. Otherwise any light Puerto Rican rum will do. But let's set that stuff aside for the moment. We need to make the ice garnish before we shake this cocktail. And in all reality, you should probably do this the night before. Add some ice to your snowflake snow cone maker. I will put a link in the description below on how to get this thing. But if you are interested in a fancier version of an ice shaver, I will also link one of those below. Once you have a bunch of shaved ice, press your coupe down into the ice. You want a round bottom coupe if at all possible. It'll make the whole thing way easier. And then just start tapping it down. I'm using a wooden muddler from a bar above. Works really well for this, especially the flat end. For the beginning, you're just gonna be pushing down on the ice to make a solid base in there. And then once you've compacted enough snow, add some more because it's gonna take a lot of that in order to create the walls for our ice shell. And once again, I'm just tapping it down. I'm kind of using my other hand to cover that so that as you push, it doesn't push it out the other side. We're gonna do that intentionally eventually, but right now you just wanna create a base. Now flip your muddler around and you can start using the round end to start shaping your ice shell. As you push against the sides of the walls, the ice will rise up. It becomes a bit of like a sculpture project, but it's good fun and you just kind of have to keep working it. You can see right here, as I push on it there, it starts popping up and it's starting to really look like something. So keep working it and working it. You're gonna use your other hand to start guiding the wall up. You want one side to be a little bit higher than the other side as per the image on the original menu from the Aku Aku. What a beautiful drink. Once the walls are where you want them, make sure to work the bottom so that there isn't too much ice at the bottom. We do have to put a cocktail in here. Keep working it until you're totally convinced that you have created the greatest ice shell in the history of Las Vegas cocktails. Use your hands to kind of shape things. It really becomes kind of delicate. And the final artistic touch is to take the side of your muddler and really shape it. Put that in the freezer, let it freeze overnight, and then voila you have a classic mid-century ice shell. Isn't that incredible? And after a night of freezing it, this is what we have. Isn't that gorgeous? And now back to the cocktail. Let's throw some ice in the shaker tin, pour the contents into that tin, give it a big smack, smack it a do, and then shake. Now, anytime I'm dealing with a daiquiri type cocktail, a cocktail that is served up, I always, always, always double strain. And even though ice chips will end up in this drink from the ice shell, we don't want ice chips for the presentation. So double strain into the cocktail and look at how absolutely gorgeous that is. And this is the 1963 Aku Aku Gold Cup. Before we taste this cocktail, here's two minutes of history about the Aku Aku. In the glittering heart of the Las Vegas Strip, the Stardust Hotel emerged as a legendary resort, captivating visitors with its futuristic design. The polar opposite of that futuristic design was the iconic Aku Aku restaurant, a tropical oasis inspired by Polynesian culture. The restaurant opened in the 1960s with its A-frame roof reaching dramatically into the sky. A colossal neon sign crafted in the likeness of a tribal shield adorned with spears confidently proclaimed its thematic essence. The Aku Aku quickly became a beloved escapist destination, boasting a menu of Polynesian and Asian-inspired cuisine and exotic cocktails served in decorative tiki mugs and exotic cocktail glassware. 
The Aku Aku's enchanting atmosphere was created by artist and carver Eli Headley, whose traditional Polynesian designs brought the restaurant to life. Most notable of his creations for the Aku Aku were giant stone moai, resembling those found on Easter Island. The moai became the trademark of the Aku Aku. They were used as inspiration for the tiki mug designs, found on glassware, and even on casino gambling coins. The opposite side of this coin says, rub my nose for luck. The Aku Aku closed in 1980, and the Stardust Hotel met its end in 2007 with a dramatic implosion, making way for the future of the Las Vegas Strip. But the legacy of the Aku Aku lives on, with the relocation of one of the giant moai to an island in nearby Sunset Park, and with the vintage stores of Las Vegas littered with the tiki mugs and dishware of this enchanting locale. A version of the Aku Aku was even featured in the Tangiers Hotel of Scorsese's Vegas mob movie, Casino. Today, as Las Vegas continues to reinvent itself, the Aku Aku restaurant remains a cherished part of the city's history, an exotic paradise that once enchanted visitors and forever left its mark on the iconic Las Vegas Strip. It paved the way for modern Vegas tiki bars like Golden Tiki, Frankie's Tiki Room, and the Red Dwarf, all of which sell tiki mugs by Tiki Farm, which brings us to this episode's sponsor. This episode is sponsored by Tiki Farm. Tiki Farm is the world's largest producer, manufacturer, and designer of custom tiki mugs. Visit tikifarm.com to see their most recent releases. Now let's celebrate the Aku Aku with one of their signature cocktails, the Gold Cup. Okay, just on looks alone, how would you not want to order this again? It's a small drink, and only about like three ounces of cocktail, but the presentation is insane, isn't it? And you don't normally see lemon juice in this kind of daiquiri kind of format. Let's try it out. It's kind of tricky to figure out where you're supposed to sip from because the ice is surrounding the thing. It's very tart, but you get the falernum and you get those notes of the spices from the falernum. The rum blend is really nice. It's really hard to drink because the ice is like acting as a, like a sifter through my mouth here. The lemon juice though is an interesting twist because you don't usually get lemon juice in this kind of drink. Would I order this again? You bet your sweet ass I would. That is a tasty, tasty treat. Just for the Instagram photos alone, just for like being served that. And as a matter of fact, I've ordered one of these before at the Mai Kai and it came just like this, just a couple years ago. So yeah, dude, you have to get this. You have to order this. You must. Get this, so good. Do you want to taste this? Yeah, sure, coming in hot. Sorry, I've already sipped off of this. That's uh, all right, we're friends. Have you ever experienced a cocktail with a presentation like that before? No, I haven't. It's like a snow cone kind of type of thing. Yeah. I'm excited. Okay. That might be the most amazing drink I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> so if you order this in a bar, would you order it again? If you're buying, yeah. <laughs>